welcome back to the vlog today is december 23rd it's thursday it's also my first day of winter break i'm excited i honestly i slept in it's about to be 12 o'clock i right now am going to be doing some door dashing for a couple of hours and then i'm already like actually in the middle of an order so i'm really not like I'm not BSing you. I really am door dashing today. Um, and then I'm going to go drop off some lunch to my boyfriend at work. Um, probably stop at Target because they do have a Target where he works near. Um, and then after that, I'm going to work out. I also need to go to my parents' house because they ordered something for the baby um, that needs to be put together. And if Christmas is in two days, honey, we got to put that together very quickly. So I'm going to go grab that today. But... Yeah, it's really just a chill day. I'm really excited. It's nice to have all this like free time again. So I'm definitely trying to make the most of every day while still making sure that I'm resting. But it's just like being a teacher, you literally have no time for anything ever. So now having all this time, it just feels so good and I'm ready to have a good day today. Can't get enough, baby. So come give me love. All of your love, I can't fake it. When I'm with you, my legs go weak. So I really thought that I was recording and that you could hear me, but it was too loud in the gym. Basically, I was just telling a story about a creepy man that I literally saw looking at me through the mirror at the gym and just really going on a rant about why women should feel safe at the gym. So love that for us. Come hit me with your touch and make me want to say. I don't know why, but I've literally been vlogging probably for three years and doing it when there's other people around still makes me like, it feels chaotic. Please, please hold, please hold. Ugh. All right, that was very obnoxious, but I just left the gym. Guys, I'm really proud of myself here. I literally burned 500 calories. I worked out for an hour and that was the longest workout that I've done in so long. Like usually I I've been trying this week to work my way up, you know, 30 minutes here, 30 minutes there. Burning like 300 calories and being like okay with it, but I did that. I did that. Whew. Aside from the little debacle in there. I still feel really good. Yeah. I did good. So, I seems counterproductive, but I've been craving it all day, and I literally waited until I did my workout. That's what I was working towards, but I'm getting Starbucks. What do you want me to say? What do you want me to do? I'm sorry to say, but I have a gift card. So many of my kids got me Starbucks gift cards. Like, I'm going, baby. I'm getting it, baby. Ugh. Oh. Going a little rogue here, being a little chaotic because my camera is not mounted to anything. Let's see how long this lasts. What is she giving? She's gonna give us music? No. Okay. <clears throat> Woo! Yeah. So I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go to Starbucks and then I'm gonna go to Target because they are all conveniently placed near each other. And then I'm gonna take my butt home and shower and get ready for my second my second wave of uh, energy. Cause I slept a lot this morning. That Starbucks line is steep. Let's go in. Let's do it. Wrapped up nice and neat, baby. Get in my way now, don't be shy. We'll be here dancing day and night. Get in my groove now, don't be shy. Cause I got this is my favorite thing. All right, so contrary to popular belief, when I go places, I really don't try to be extra. But that low key was a nightmare. I'm like fully aware and I fully understand that it is the holidays so the amount of time I had to wait not a big deal this is what the big deal was so I ordered what I usually get like my peppermint frappuccino or whatever and they're like make they're like finally getting to the point where they make mine once again the wait not the problem but then the lady's like, oh, we don't have peppermint. Like, do you want something else? So I'm like, truth be told, if I if I would have known that they didn't have peppermint, like, genuinely, I would have not, like, I wouldn't have got anything because I just, like, that's what I wanted. I wanted a peppermint frappuccino. So 
I'm just like, okay, they're really busy in there. Like, they're very overwhelmed. So I'm like, yeah, um, I'll just do like a double taco chip. Like, that's my regular drink. And so she's like, okay. She starts making it. She puts whole milk in it. But like my sticker says, almond milk, no whipped cream, no coffee. She puts whole milk in it and I'm watching her. And it's like whole, whole milk, it's not the end of the world for me. I just like to try not to really, you know, um, drink it unless I'm eating cereal. That's really the only time like I feel like I can tolerate it. So I'm like watching her make it, but she's, she's doing like so much that I'm like, whatever, it's not even a big deal. And so another lady comes and she's like, what is this? Oh, we don't have peppermint. She's like, oh, I know. This is that's the double chocolate chip. And then she says, do you still want whipped cream? And I said, no, no dairy. And then the other girl who made it was like, oh. And then they, she started remaking it. But a different girl started remaking it. So I'm like, oh, are you remaking it? And she's like, yeah. I'm like, please, no dairy or coffee. Like, I don't like the taste of coffee. Which she had already put in the cup. So it's like, at this point, I know you guys are busy, baby. But please, like, at least look at the cup, you know? Like, it, it says no coffee, it says no whipped cream, it says no, like, use freaking almond milk. It's just like, I'm trying, I'm trying to be that person, and I was still patient. I was still patient with her. And then, like, the cherry on top, my name on here, spelled correctly because I spelled it for the girl and everything. She calls my name for Katrina. I gotta go, it was a sign I didn't need it. When I tell y'all, I just know Target's about to be busy. I'm still good though. This is really the section in Target that has me in a chokehold, but there's not really anything that I need here. Still worth checking though. I have this one. All right, so a girl moment here. I think I'm gonna try this brand regular super i don't know first of all it's the packaging for me and for this to literally be the same price as like a you buy kotex or something just for it to advertise as better for me yeah i think i'm gonna do it i'll let you know Good morning so it is the next day it's about 7 a.m because today is christmas eve i am going to be going to my family's house and we are going to be making some tamales so we're going to get some some good tamale content today but first things first i need to go to the gym because we got goals we said we're back into it and that essentially means no days off not even the holidays so this is my gym fit. I am gonna throw on just like an oversized t-shirt, but this sports bra from H&M, and then I'm wearing just like some Gymshark training leggings. Now, the weird thing is like, usually I like to work out fasted. It's just what feels better to me, but it's about to be my time of the month, and I just woke up so hungry. So, I'm gonna eat some cereal and really we'll see how this goes is this gonna stay we'll see how this goes because the milk <clears throat> the movement in my body I don't know I don't plan on doing anything like super crazy <sighs> probably gonna work out for like a half hour so I mean it's not it's not gonna be the end of the world Definitely see stationary bike in my future, but I know for a hundred percent sure I need to eat. And I have a monster with me already, so I think I'm gonna do that instead of pre-workout. So yeah, let's eat our breakfast and then we're gonna go work out. All right, so <clears throat> it's like oddly warm outside right now. It's like 42, which really, if you're not from the Midwest, you wouldn't understand. Oh, that's a weird, 
not cold number, but basically, here's what I'm thinking. Because I'm not in like any specific regimen and I'm just really getting back to it, I kind of just go to the gym and do whatever I feel like it, which most of the time is legs. Um, <sighs> that milk has already gotten to me though. My stomach is starting to hurt a little bit, so I think I'm just gonna go and do a 12, 3.30. Which means if I hurry up and leave right now, like I've been saying that I'm going to, I should be out of the gym by like 8. I have to get gas, so realistically it'll probably be 8.15. But my mom tried to drag me on a group phone call yesterday saying that I was, uh, that I need to leave my house two hours early because I'm always late. First of all, mother, you are 20 minutes away from me. And second of all, maybe I am, not on purpose, but I do have things that I need to get done this morning. And for the record, everyone, the group text says 9.30, 10 o'clock. So I will be there in between 9.30 and 10 o'clock. With a lie detector test determined, that was a lie. <laughs> Nine fifty-two. Yes, I know what I said. I do. Uh, I did have to be there between nine thirty and ten. So I will be there in between nine thirty and ten o'clock. You know, I just would like to point out that I really didn't bullshit. I did everything that I needed to do. It just took longer than I thought it would take. So, with that being said, I'm on my way. I'm only going to be like ten minutes late. Which is better than not coming. Okay, literally, as I was pulling out, what is she saying, y'all? Yeah, you literally said that you were not coming until later. Anyways, um, so I pulled up. I was pulling out of my house, and my mother texted me, and she said seven minutes until you're late, which I knew she was gonna do, and I was gonna be chaotic and tell her I wasn't coming, but I'm here now. You said dark. Who's dark? Your dark. What are you making? I'm making breakfast. What's in here? So there's enough for like two people or you could go to two classes by yourself. She said, she said take your boyfriend on a date <laughs> to Pino's Palette. That's Palette? That's wine and paint. A wine and paint. A, a wine and sip. Oh my God, these are so cute. Do we see these? A vibe. Oh, there's not. It's not Very focusing. Very cute. It's okay. I'll go into that. Let me tell you, Kaylee, Kaylee's really been on it with the gift cards. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> wow. We got a charcuterie board. I love this. And with the little cheese thing. Let me tell you something. I was using that board that you got me, the actual like charcuterie thing, when you ordered me one. I was using that board, and then I left it at a girl's house that I don't even fucking like. Oh, wow. I know. My actual board. So I'm like, I don't even have a cheese board wow. now. That's messed up. But now I got a cheese board. <laughs> and I'm keeping that in. I didn't know that you got it. 
hair. No, one. like she when she like actually ordered me like a, a charcuterie board, like a made one. Oh, one. so oh, the, you yeah. got to keep the board. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I just kept the board. Thank you. I'm thinking you were made for me. It's in my birthday, yeah, cause I gotta say, I'm looking like a gift for me. Wrapped up nice and neat, baby. Get in my way now, don't be shy. We'll be here dancing day and night. Get in my groove now, don't be shy. Cause I got this list of my favorite things. You could be the part where it all begins. You could be the What Karina's doing is just all about color. Have to do the first one. Oh my goodness. I trust all the second chance I'll say I'm nothing for us. I like it all the time. We don't have to move so fast, baby. I will show you how you can catch my vibe. And right away I so much time looping in the blurry lights. Let her dump in some, and then you're gonna mix it to what we need to color it. She can mix it. 